Hi everybody, this is John from Ave High Family Firearm Center. And today we're going to be talking about a uh, popular uh, striker fire option for those of you who are on a budget. This in my hand is the Canik, or Janik, depending on how you pronounce it, if you're from Turkey or not, uh, TP9 SF. So this is their full size, uh, longer barrel version of their TP9 series. Now, some features about the TP9, this is an 18 plus one capacity handgun. It does have a striker indicator in the back, as well as a little chambered indicator on the top. Now this model in particular, this is a borrowed gun. This one somebody put some talon grips on, as well as some access big dot sights. So, which means that even though this is a budget mining gun, there's a large aftermarket sight um, support available. Now the Canik has a very nice trigger and a very short reset. Get this over here for you. Let's show you the reset. I mean, there it is right there. So, we're gonna head out to the range. We're gonna put 18 rounds to the magazine and get you a five round accuracy group. This gun is, I haven't used the big dots very often. So I might have a little trouble, but this gun does shoot very well, and the reset is so quick you can get those quick follow-up shots. Then we'll come back, we'll sit down, and we'll talk a little bit more about the Canik TP9 SF. All right, guys, I'm on the range with the Canik TP9 SF. Let's go ahead and get that short reset a try. That gun went through 18 rounds real quickly. The reset is really nice, and the recoil impulse isn't bad at all. Now, the slide did not lie open on the last round. That's due to my thumbs where they ride and where the slide release is, side lock and slide release is. My thumbs tend to ride on it, keeping the gun from locking open. Let's head down range and get a five round accuracy group. System, so I, I believe I have to aim a little bit higher with those sights, but the grouping's not bad at all. The gun is very accurate and the trigger is very smooth with a very short reset. So let's go back to the studio and we'll finish talking, up, uh, talking about this gun and the studio. We use 124 grain blazer brass. Hi guys, I'm back from the range with a Turkish Delight. Uh, in my hand, I have the Canik TP9 SF, and this is going to continue a series of budget guns that we've done. So we've done the the Sky, we've done the the Heritage Rough Rider, and uh, we've talked a little bit about Rock Island. But this here is a uh, 18 plus one gun, like I said earlier. Now this one has been modified. Uh, the person we borrowed it from had uh, bought it like this uh, off of somebody used. Uh, it does have talon grips on it and the access big dot sights, which are awesome. I highly recommend them uh, for a good defensive sight. Now, they, they are a night sight. Uh, some of the features on the, the Canik is the trigger is very nice. And again, let me take it and I will safety check it. Just to be safe. Um, I'm going to pull it right here. We're going to zoom in. Let me get out of the way a little because blue shirt, white background. So triggers right there, and your reset is right there. Very short reset, very crisp trigger. Um, Canik has one of the nicest factory triggers on the market. It does have a loaded chamber indicator, so when there is a round in the chamber, it'll pop up. Um, I do have a nine millimeter dummy round right there, so I will show you what that looks like. And while I keep talking, uh, the recoil impulse on the gun is very nice. Uh, now, the grip is large, it's, as you can see there, there's your little chamber indicator. The grip is large, um, it does have some interchangeable back straps, let me get that dummy around. Uh, now, personally with me, the way I grip my gun, 
are like so. And where my thumb is, if you can't see right there, is where the slide release is. So I tend to slide that, when I slide the release, like I said, when I shot the gun, causing it to not lock open on the last round. Now, the gun is very easy to take apart. You'll pull back a little, pull down the tabs, pull the trigger, and off it goes. Now, if you have the SA model, the original SA model, you can hit the decocker and it'll pop off. Um, if you guys want to see other models of the Canics, I will try to get um, a couple for review. If you want to see the Elite, the SF Elite, um, maybe the V2, I will see what I can do for that. Uh, but all the triggers are going to be the same and they're all really awesome. Um, this, they do come with a cleaning rod and a holster and a few other things. So for the money, you're looking around $350, $400 if you want the... Uh, the SFX, which is their competition line with the ported, uh, with the long side and the ported barrel, and those are running a little bit more expensive because you can buy them with a red dot. This one does not have those features. Um, person we borrowed this from likes this gun for uh, USPSA shooting and a few other competitions because it's very easy to uh, lap those big dot sights and get them on target uh, for quick shooting. Uh, that's why I like the big dots. But it does come with three dot sights from the factory, and I, if I'm not mistaken, the newer ones, when I talked to the Century Arms rep when I was at one of the shows, uh, he said the newer ones are all coming with worn tactical sights. So they'll come with a U-notch rear with a fiber optic front. But guys, if you're looking for, like I said, we don't have these in store currently. Uh, we can order them for you. Uh, you can always find them on our website at goinghigh.com. Um, but uh, you really can't go wrong with a Canik if you're looking for something uh, reliable in that budget price range, you don't have a lot of money to spend. I would put this in the same level as a Glock. I know I'm going to get some hate for that uh, with its reliability and its accuracy. Uh, but for the budget gun, I would put this at the top of the budget gun list. If you need, if you don't have a lot of money to spend, I would buy this over the SD9VE, the Ruger 9E, which is a nice gun. We did a review of that. Even the Ruger American, which is a nice gun. We have a, a 45 up for review soon, uh, hopefully. But uh, guys, I really can't say enough nice things about the, the TP9SF. It just shoots well. The sights are great. Uh, the factory sights are great. Again, these have been changed to the uh, big dots, which are awesome. Um, I might just do a review of just big dots because if you can't tell, I'm a fan of them. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Um, thank you again for joining us today. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the little bell for notifications. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Like I said, you can go to our website to find most of the guns we review. If we don't have them, you can always give us a call at the store. Uh, we are an FFL dealer out of New Albany, Ohio. And guys, again, thank you for joining us today, and have a great rest of your day.